Hello. Since Sonia G has recently released the mini version of her bestsellers face brushes, I'm talking about the mini version of the Buffer Pro that once was called Face One, and I have the original one, and the mini version of this brush that is the Niji Pro. So I wanted to test out for a while uh, these two brushes. So it's been two weeks that I uh, focused on these brushes, use it every day to have a better uh, knowledge of these brushes because uh, I'm, I tend to collect these brushes and it happens. I tend to store them and do not use them. So I decided to bring them back to my top drawer and use them and have a better opinion about them. And I also used um, these two. Uh, this one is the Jumbo Base from the Fusion set and together with this one. So I have a better opinion about this one that is called Base from the Lotus set. The composition is identical for these two brushes. That is, undyed goat hair, that is the white one, and the, the colored one is synthetics. So these two have a mixture of undyed goat and synthetics, while uh, these two have the traditional Sonia, Sonia G brown dye, and this is actually a mixture of black dyed goat and undyed goat. And I'm talking about the Niji Pro. So, a quick video just to tell my experience. Let's start with these two. Well, I have to say I much prefer this one that is the base brush compared to this one. And the reason is that this is really multi-purpose. I can have a beautiful application of foundation, but also I can stretch my concealer because of the edges. I can be very precise. I can have a full face all my base, concealer, uh, even bronzer or blush, just with this brush alone. So it is much more versatile than this. This is not my favorite in terms of shape and density also. So I prefer less denser brush. And that's why this, um, even if um, it has the same density, but there's something about the shape of this and the thickness being uh, thinner compared to this one, that is just perfect. So. Uh, this has, has become my favorite for uh, foundation application, but also for concealer. So in this way, I don't need other brushes. And then let's focus on these two. This is the Niji Pro. Is still too big for my preferences. You can see it's dirty because of the bronzer. I've been using it with bronzer almost every day. What I can tell is that for lightweight bronzer, it gives a very beautiful diffused application, but I cannot be precise. On the other hand, it still has short bristles compared to other bronzer brushes. I prefer smaller brushes in general. This has such a big section. So I have mixed feelings about this, but I like the finish. The result, I have to say, with light bronzers, where I don't mind the less precise application, I really love how this buff the bronzer. It applies and buff at the same time. And for that reason, it's very special. But for darker bronzers, when I want to diffuse the product more or having a really thin layer of, of bronzer on my face, um, then I like it uh, less compared to looser and less, denser, less dense brushes. I like for light bronzers. This is my conclusion for this brush. If you have this, do you need a small brush? Honestly, I'm curious because you know that I like this dyeing a lot and having this one in the brown version is intriguing. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I may consider purchasing the mini version that is not mini in terms of the head, is mini only because of the handle that is different compared to this one. It's a nice brush for light bronzers. When I don't, I don't mind to have uh, a diffuse application on all over my cheeks. I cannot use this for contour or for bronze tour. 
is more to warm up the face without sculpting the face. While, uh, what about this one, uh, the Buffer Pro, uh, once called Face One? This is quite unique because the uniqueness of this brush is not on the flat top. There are a lot of flat top brushes, but is because the flat top is combined with the give, with the fact that it is quite airy. So it has the perfect trade-off between density and airiness. And that is very unique of this brush. So how it works is by buffing the products once you have finished the makeup. And so you can really blend everything out. In my opinion, this is mostly useful for people that maybe went a little bit too heavy handed with the makeup and they wanted a final look that is more put together or for finishing powders to lock everything in and to blend everything. This is not my style. So I uh, still think that this brush is not really for me. I don't use finishing powder all over and I tend to be very sheer in the beginning. So I don't have this necessity to blend everything out because I'm not heavy handed in the first place and I'm quite careful to select products in first place that do not build up or become cakey or a little bit heavy. I really don't need a finishing. And uh, for that reason, I felt that this brush didn't fit my routine. However, for powders that are a little bit heavier than usual, for products that did not apply as I expected. For example, if I used a more pigmented bronzer uh, with this brush, I add, let's say, a application that was too heavy, then I could blend it out and uh, save the look with this brush. So these are actually complementary. And personally, I would buy uh, the mini version of this one, the Niji, because I'm very curious about the difference of that brush compared to the original. Uh, while this one is exactly the same, as far as I understood, uh, is not produced by the same manufacturer that produced the glorious face one, the original one. She switched the producer, the shape is more rounded, and I'm curious to know the shape of the new one, the mini one, if it is perfectly flat like this one, or if it is rounded. Sometimes being this perfectly flat, I feel like only the edges are working in blending and not all the brush. So in my, again, for my preferences, I, I would be curious to try a slight domed shape with this middle part a little bit longer. It's a favorite of many. It's just not a favorite of mine for my style of makeup. Let me know in the comments if you're going to buy the new brushes that Sonia has just released. I'm still thinking about them. So until next time, bye bye.